I'm sorry about that. I'm still working on my technology savviness. Um, somehow I managed to stop that video right when I was on a roll, but I'm going to pick it back up and things are fine. So we have our three sentences that we worked on. Pal needed training. Arthur worked on training Pal. And we know that Pal got trained and acted better. So we're going to take sentence number two. And if your mom or dad or older sibling or whoever's helping you here, when you go to write those words, I want you to write them out of order. So as you'll see, we have the sentence, Arthur worked on training pal. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a line per word. So it's going to look like this. Arthur worked on training pal. We're going to go from left to right, top to bottom, and pay special attention where our period is. That's at the end. And then we're going to write our sentence. Are we going to rush and write that sentence just as fast as we can? No, we are not. We are going to take our time and use our best writing and try to form the letters just like they're supposed to be formed. From top to bottom, left to right, all those things. But when you go to make your T, start at the top and go down. Come to the left and go across. Or when you do a lowercase e, remember we go little line out, up and around. So really think about how you're forming those letters. Once you get the sentence written, Arthur worked on training pal, I want you to write your first and last name. A lot of you can do your first name, but are not 100% on your last name. So this break is going to be a good time to work on first and last name. You'll hear me say that a lot. So we have our sentence and we wrote our name. Good job. So the next thing I want you to think about doing as we work together today is I want you to find either a cereal box or maybe a little box that you had a frozen meal in, some sort of cardboard. And I want you to get it with a pair of scissors. If you don't have scissors or you don't have Play-Doh, I want you to feel free to reach out to me and I will get those to you. I'm assuming that most of you have those two things. Um, but if you don't, I'll be glad to bring them to your house uh, during this time that we're shut down in Gordon County Schools. So just let me know, and I could deliver them to you somehow. I wouldn't have to come in, but I could just bring them to you. So I want you to take your cardboard. It's a little thicker than paper, and I want you to work on cutting out 10 pieces. And I want them to all be at least as big as your thumb. I don't want them to be tiny. And I want you to cut out 10 and count to 10. We'll probably do, like, different numbers every week, and this is something that I do have my kids do from time to time working on those fine motor skills. So I want you to practice cutting out that paper and I want them to all be a decent size. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once you have your ten pieces of paper cut, you're good to go on that activity. Then the last thing I was going to suggest that you do today is practice your address and your birthday. I live at 555 Shenandoah Drive, Calhoun, Georgia, 30701. And my birthday is August 21st. But I'm not going to say what year I was born because then you'll know how old I am. And I want to keep that a secret. But anyway, those are all the things I want you to do today. And then the last thing I was going to suggest was give you some general motor planning, self-help ideas that you're going to hear every week that we're off that I want you to practice. First one is fix your grip. A lot of you have heard me say this through the years and some of you may have a perfect grip. If you hold a pencil or the marker like this, meh, wrong. I want you to work on holding it like this, tripod, where your second finger and your thumb are facing down the writing utensil is resting on that third finger, and these two fingers are tucked. Parents, if you're trying to help somebody with this, you can work on holding something 
with these last two fingers. Really work on fixing your grip during this time. Another thing, practice buttoning and unbuttoning. Now we don't wear a lot of things that button and unbutton, but that's a good skill. Third, make sure your child can take their socks and shoes off and on. If you've got an older child, you can work on learning how to tie shoelaces. You can find good videos for this online. And then last, work on independence with the nightly routine. Things like brushing teeth, taking a bath, washing hair. Now that you're going to have a little more time together, it's a good time to practice those things. So just work on um, your child increasing independence. And if you're just a child watching this, then work on becoming more independent. And anyway, this concludes week number one. And I will see you guys again next week for week number two. All right. Take care. Miss Trish loves you all.